in the last tutorial we have discussed about uh, uh, installing ADF J developer uh, version 11.2 1.2.3 and we have also discussed about uh, installing Android virtual device manager which is Android SDK and right now I'm just starting the emulator so that uh, we can install or deploy the apps that we create and basically we have a quick recap on what we have developed so far we have an employee ignore the name France it's it's a synonymous to employees which displays the employee details and in today's uh, tutorial what we would do is we would create a button here upon I mean when we click on that button an email will be sent to to this particular uh, employee so the second one would be the email and we will be uh, using the bindings to this particular binding to populate the email let us start the development of this particular page with the same button here for that go to your data controls i mean uh, today i would i will show you how to create uh, uh, the send email button here using the data controls and also using the java code first let us create the button here using the data control in the data controls you see a feature called uh, uh, an option called device features just click on the device features and here you will have send email drag and drop the send email to the panel item and when you are trying to create this send email it will ask you like how do you create it you create it using a mobile parameter form or a method i would make this as adf mobile button and now these are the parameters to cc subject and body and apart from that you will have mime types also bcc attachments mime types also basically for the remaining cc subject and body we are not going to do anything but for the cc part what we are trying to achieve is we have to pre-populate this two field with the email id of the employee that we have selected so just click on the show a expression builder and here in the bindings part what you want is an email and you are going to pre-populate that particular field with the input value so this would be hash bindings dot email dot input value just click on ok and click ok so you have got a send email and i would write this as send email in, in the brackets data controls so you have a send email which would send you an email up if i if i click on this particular button an email would be sent and uh, the two field will be pre-populated with the data of what we are seeing here so this is pretty much direct and simple now we will create another button here which is uh, send email the same send email button but now we will follow a different approach for that we will actually write some java code to do what we want to do so just go, go to this uh, component palette and the general control in the general controls there is this button just drag and drop it onto the panel item now you have got a button and I would name this button as send email in brackets it should be Java. 
So now here you have got send email button. Now on the send email whenever you are clicking on send email button let us let us set a property listener for this let us let us initialize a global variable where we store the email id of this particular employee so that we can use that uh, particular value in a later session so just click on set property listener and just drop it onto send email so in the send email you have now a property listener and the from uh, field would be the input variable I mean that would be bindings dot email dot input value if I'm not wrong and moreover let us quickly check if that's what we are trying to do so this is what we are trying to achieve so bindings dot email dot input value appears it's perfect and now this particular value this email will be stored in page flow scope dot email param it's a name that I have given and the type would be action so now this particular button has a property listener and whenever somebody create I mean presses that button the value would be stored in email params in the page flow scope now now I got something in my global variable to use and now how do I use it for this I would go to the action listener I mean I, I select the send email Java component and then the, in the action listener I go to edit part and I would try to associate clicking of this button to uh, a managed bean go to a new bean and I, I click the name of the bean would be send email bean the class name would be send email and uh, the scope would be if view and then click ok and now the method would also be send email action or name it as action send email okay and then click ok now whenever that button is clicked this particular method would be executed so I would write some code into this particular thing so before that I would get rid of this and then I would click on the Java code Now here I would write some Java code. You can add, I mean you have this public void action send email and you can add some data, I mean some code here. I've already written some code. I would use that particular code. I would import a few packages here and I would uh, copy it part by part so that I 
everything is pointed here. So, so there is this device manager class that you can uh, invoke, and uh, with the device manager you can actually send an email. So, for example, uh, with the device manager class, it is selected. And here, this would be the two address, and uh, two would be two email, and I would I will declare that in a moment. So this is my two email, and I want this two email to be properly populated with uh, the employee that I've just selected, or the employee that I've given, uh, stored in the global variable. So for that I would use this so here in the ADF EL context I, I, I declare this ADF EL context and that would be ADF and Java utilities dot get ADF EL context and from that I would get the value expression for this particular uh, uh, variable and uh, I would store the value of that EL context into the two email. So that two email would be here and here is the content and I, I can't write everything. I mean this is this is something that I don't want to. So this is the method. I mean you, it just invokes send email uh, method and uh, the email functionality will be used so just do this and go to your log and see if there are any compilation errors there are no compilation errors and everything seems to be fine what we have done is we have used device manager class and then we have uh, we have used that device manager class with send email to send email and then uh, this is the rest of the things that are pretty pretty straightforward now save everything and deploy it I will deploy this to my native Android device 